If you're thinking about getting a laser cutter, one of the questions you might have is, should I get an industrial chiller to go with it? Well, maybe, let me explain. The first thing you wanna consider is runtime. How long are you gonna be running the machine nonstop at any given time? If the answer is over five or six hours, you probably wanna get a chiller. Your next question needs to be, what is it that you're actually cutting? If you're cutting a material that's really thick or takes a really slow speed and a really high power, even if you're not gonna be running it for over six hours, you may wanna consider a chiller. Ultimately, the harder that this guy has to work, the hotter the machine's gonna get. And the hotter the machine gets, the more efficient the cooling needs to be. And you might wanna think about the power of your machine as well. Typically, the higher the wattage the machine you're using, the more power it's gonna draw, and therefore, the more heat it's gonna produce. Again, this all coincides with that time element. How long are you gonna be using the machine for, at what power, and at what speed? And the last thing to consider is the ambient room temperature that your machine's working in. Most lasers will want to run at below 30 degrees C room temperature. For me personally, I've got a 150 watt machine, which is pretty high power which I will definitely be running for over five hours inside of a wooden shed, which is easily gonna reach over 30 degrees C in the summer. So it won't come as a shock that I got a chiller. So if you wanna see me set up this guy, hit the follow button.